What's going on, guys? This is Jay Play from Me Morning. Um, so I just logged back into the game. I was about to go to sleep. I was actually still the same. I'm still wearing my Tony Hawk shirt. It's been a long few episodes. I realized that I fucked up. Um, we came down here. I don't know why everything's doled out right now, but this is where we were in the lava zone. Maybe it's nighttime. I don't know if that makes a difference in here. But we went across this massive lava room and we parked because there is a... Uh, well, let's see. Why is the light on in here? that make a difference I don't know it's very dark for some reason but there's a uh, precursor base right here and I went over to the cabinet before I logged out I mean I'm not and I was looking at my tablets and I realized that those aren't my tablets um I have purple tablets and I have a orange tablet but to get into this base that we're sitting in front of I need a blue tablet and the blue tablet is not in this base we're gonna have to leave here. So I'm gonna see if we can do that real quick. Um, let's go ahead and jump into full screen and we're, we're, just gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go for it. Okay, so what I wanna do is basically, there is a sea dragon here, so I'm just gonna hope we can make it across this room without getting killed by it. And we're pretty much gonna head right back out to where we were. And I might need a shield, we'll see. Looks like we might make it. Excessive noise. We're good. Going standard again. I was trying to kick some speed in here. We're basically going right back up the hole that we came down because we have to go back up to where we were. So I can go into that center cavern. I was I remember that there's a portal that goes from that one to this one. But I forgot that I need to do that one first. So I'm just gonna reposition. This probably is gonna be a pretty short episode. I'm gonna go get the blue tablet and I'll show you guys where that is. And then we'll just come right back down here. And we'll do this big precursor base in the next episode, but Let's see if I can get over here and get this real quick. So far, I hear the sea dragon. I'm pretty sure we're in a decent place to be out of range of the sea dragon now. Let's go ahead and just uh, go up right here. There's the sea dragon right there. We're gonna kick the shield on. And just, uh. Can't really see much now. How about we kick on the cameras and use the top cam? We're gonna keep the shield on for this so the sea dragon doesn't attack us. There he is. I think the shield is protecting us, but he is kind of pissed and he's throwing us around in here, but I'm pretty sure as long as the shield's on, we're okay. I think those are all batteries dying. We're at 62%, we're okay. So we're gonna come on over here out of the way of the sea dragon. And we're just going to drop down. Think he's still on us? Oh yeah, he's pissed. Let's go this way. Forty-two percent. Can't really see much. We're just going to keep going this way until we can get out of range. We're at 27%. I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to grab some of these batteries here. I'm just going to throw them in here. Seek fluid intake. 
And we need some of these marble melons. Vital right. signs stabilizing. I think about thirty-seven percent. All right, let's kick the shield off. Let's see where the sea dragon is now. Okay, we seem to be okay right here. This is a good place to be because this is the other entrance down into the uh, lava zone. So we're gonna turn around. I think our systems should be charging again here. It is pretty hot here. And now, what I'm gonna do, see that cave right there, we're gonna leave this guy right here. I also found out, see the, the guy on there? I'm pretty sure the shield generator knocks that dude right off, which is really cool. All right, so that's at 28%. Let's see if it starts refilling. If it doesn't, we'll just have to go down a little bit lower. Let's kick the engine off. Looks like it's going up, 29%. Let's make sure that hits 30. And basically, I'm gonna go ahead and let that charge up. And what we're gonna do, let's grab a couple of these zero batteries here. That one's at 100, that one's at zero. That one's at zero, right? 1%. Let's go ahead and replace these. This is at 17. 18. Okay, they're going up. Good. So that one will eventually go up. That one's at 100. Let's pull this one out. Put a zero in there. Wait, are those both 100? Okay. This one's at 100%. Let's put a zero in there. That one's at 62. That one's counting up. I'm just going to charge these batteries. It's, let's put the 1% in there. That one's at zero, that one's at zero, that one's at zero. Okay. Um, basically, just want to charge those batteries up. And we'll throw these 100, 162 in here for now. And we'll see our power. is super low because I just used all that, but they're going up. And we're going to have Eon batteries very, very shortly. So here, what I want to do is see this, this castle in front. You can't really see it from here, but we're going to go over there and get the blue tablet. And we're going to do this uh, straight up with the sea glide. So let's eat a couple more plants, marble melons here. Make sure I have full everything. Um, let's swipe out these guys real quick. And just replant. Perfect. And we're just going to go straight down with the sea glide. I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. Just to be sure. And we're going to go for it. So. The sea dragon is right over here. We're going to just try to avoid him. If we end up not avoiding him, we will die. But it's all right. We're going to hope for the best here. We're looking for a green cave entrance here. To get into this uh, center area. It's about halfway up so it should be right around here but I'm not exactly sure how close we are to it because I don't know exactly where it is I don't remember so we're gonna keep going until we see like a green glow coming off of this building I do remember the cave system inside so that's not gonna be too hard but it's kind of it could be complicated if you get lost in this cave system you might end up dying but we're gonna try really hard not to get lost in this cave system up oh, there's the sea dragon. I kind of want to stay away. There it is. Awesome. There's the door. So we're going to go right in here. It's all water. It's, this is not one of those doors that gives you life. We go straight through here to this double side. It doesn't matter which way you go because they go to the same place. When we get to here. We're going to go straight down and right out in here. And there we go. And right around the corner here. There is a precursor base. Uh, I probably should have told you before I did that that I've grabbed before I left 
<laughs> That's wonderful. I didn't grab the tablet. Um, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. I didn't grab the ion cubes either. Okay. Well, there's a little spider guy who wants to bite me. <clears throat> I guess we're going to have to go back out to the sub. Don't forget this because this is exactly what I should have done. Um, I didn't even bring a beacon. I should have brought a beacon. We're going to go right back into the cave entrance. Swim up to the left. Doubles. Doesn't matter which one you pick. And this is the way out right here. And now we're going to have to swim right by the sea dragon. Let's see, and the... And we're going to have to go back to the sub. <laughs> oh, this, this was going to be a quick one, but it, it's going to take a little longer than I thought because uh, I totally fucked up. Let's head for that hole. I should be okay. Just going straight back to the yellow jacket. This hole here, it basically leads down to the same place we went last time. It just doesn't go right directly in the path of the sea emperor, which we did with the sea dragon. So we're going to go back up in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. This time, we're going to grab... Let's First, let's look at my battery. Has it been charging? 8%. 9%. It's charging just very slowly. Interesting. Well, we're just going to let that keep charging. Um, let's, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a purple tablet and a couple ion cubes. Yes, sir. And then we're going to go ahead and climb back down here uh, real quick before I go. I'm just going to grab a couple of these lantern fruits to make sure my life is good. One, two, three. And we're going to do that exact same thing I just did again. Save it again. And here we go. And we're going the wrong way because my sh for some reason I keep coming out the back going the opposite direction. But and we're going to try this again. See where the sea dragon is. I don't see him. <laughs> we can technically go around either way. I'm going to go back the same way I went the first time. Because the entrance is obviously on the other side of this mountain. There's the green glow. All right. Same thing. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go straight down through the tunnel here, straight across. Pick a tunnel. Doesn't matter. We'll go this way this time, and then straight down. And there we go. Right around this corner up there. There's the door. All right. Awesome. I have my scanner, right? Yes, I do. Let's put my scanner on my bar. In fact, I should probably put the scanner here and keep my repair tool. I don't think I need it, but I have to have that on the bar just in case I need it later. So let's bust out the scanner. There is some stuff in here to scan. There's this uh, alien robot chain guy who might jump at me. I think they bite. I don't remember. There's a couple other things we can scan, like this ion cube. Uh-oh, this guy's chasing me. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and put an ion cube right here. These are the ones I took from... I got those back when we went to that first thing. So there's a gate portal that's open now. It goes to the base by the floating island. Or actually, no, the, pre the base with the gun on it. Not the floater island. And then there's another thing in here. Let's see. I think there's some stuff to scan in here. This is the alien... Let's go downstairs. Let's just do this whole base real quick. Let's see what's down here. What do you need for this? A purple tablet? Well, I only have one purple tablet with me. Integrating new PDA data. And that is not where I want to go right now. Because I need the blue tablet. So I'll have to bring another purple tablet back here, but... I forgot this. If we go this way... This one also takes a purple tablet. This is the one I want. This will open up here, and that is the blue tablet right here that I need to get into. Should have scanned that probably, but I didn't. Let's see what's up here. Come here to me. All right. This looks like a different exit. Didn't know there was two. It's cool. Wait. Could I have just come in that way? No, I still would have needed to uh, put the tablet in there. Okay, so basically this portal here, I will show you where that takes you later. But as of right now, we have the blue tablet. Let's go grab another purple tablet. I know this is just crazy. I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna jump out here under the water. I'm gonna swim down to the out the outrance outrance because it's not an entrance. It's an outrance. <laughs> Up left through the double booby tunnel, and this one right here. Come back out here. And we're going to swim. Let's go around to the right this time and see how long it takes this way. Yeah, I think it's on the exact opposite side of this mountain. So it's probably equal distance to come from the left or the right of it. We shall find out right now, though. <laughs> I got the boogies. Boogie knows. Okay. That sounds extremely close. He might actually be trying to eat my head right now. I'm just going to keep going and I'm not look back. And there's warpers this way too. I'm going to go to the left again next time because this doesn't seem like the safest way to do this. He sounds like he is on my ass. If I get in here and he's following us, we're all gonna die right now, so we're gonna find out. Let's see. Oh, shit. Shh. Just be real quiet like. Holy Shit, did you guys see that? <laughs> He's leaving. I don't know what just happened, but I am very happy that he did not freak. He shouldn't have come this far over here, and the fact that he did means he was chasing me. But I guess I just disappeared when I went into the sub. He had no idea I was here. That's cool. That is cool. Okay. Well... Let's go ahead and grab... I have the blue tablet now, which is what we need to get into the other base. I have the orange tablet. I'm actually going to put the blue tablet in here. 
with the orange tablet. And we're going to go ahead and take, I don't know why these tablets are in here. Let's put them in here too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take another purple tablet over there. And go finish the space. Open up that other door and see what's in there. And let's just take two purple tablets to be safe. And we, yes, we are going to go back over there again. He went to the left, so this time I'll be following him. Let's see if this is charging. 12%. It's charging just very slowly. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's do this one more time. And let me save it. I cannot believe he did not kill us right now. That was... That was crazy. Five, and here we go. And of course I'm going the wrong way again because I was turned around. I should have plenty of air and time to do this. As long as the dragon doesn't eat me. If he does, we are saved like right before I left again. So we should be okay though. Let's go around to the left one more time. I think he was going this way, so I'm following him. If I'm following him to the left, that was probably why he didn't attack me the first two times. But he does sound like he's getting very close to me, and it's kind of scary, because I can hear him, but I don't see him. And it should be coming up here on the right. I hear a warper very close to us. There's the green glow there. Yeah, we're following him again. Perfect. Let's go right on in the cave. One more time, we go down. Straight across, pick a tunnel, I'm gonna go right this time. And then we go down to the right and there's the building. There's nothing in here except for warpers and there's also kyanite in here. If you guys need extra kyanite, you can pick it up straight off the walls in here. We're gonna go back in here again. Get some air. Wow, I came in so fast I actually got hurt. You can kill that thing too, I just don't remember how, I don't really care. Uh, let's go the other way. That's a portal we opened up, I'll show you guys where that goes in a second. And then this one... Wait. Yeah, yeah, let's go down this way. Let's go ahead and open up this bad boy right here. Okay, we are in the zone. Just walk up here to this guy and scan it. Wait, we can scan this whole platform, or this whole room, apparently. So this is the alien thermal plant. Let's grab the data there. Primer facility updated volcanic area. Grab this cave system south and southeast of this position. Primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Okay. Huh? Let's go ahead and go up here. I don't remember what's up here. I'm assuming there has to be a reason that there's a path, right? Oh, more data. Eon power data. There we go. Integrating new PDA data. <laughs> Ion batteries I can now make. Ion power blueprints from Malian data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Awesome. So if we look in here, I just got there we go, the ion battery. Nine cube gold and a silver ore. That is so easy to do. Oh yeah. Um in the other base that we're about to go to, there's infinite ion. You can collect iron for days. So we actually will be able to make all iron batteries for the sub before we go back up, which is gonna be beautiful. That was cool, you see that little glitch there? Where everything just like got fucked up for a second. Um, we can also bring the uh, prone suit in here and get this. And the way we would do that is bring it through here. This is connected to the base. show you guys real quick 
This takes you to the portal, I believe, on the island base or underneath the water. Actually, kind of close to a reaper. <laughs> But we're, I'm going to go ahead and show you anyway. I'm getting lagged frames right now. I don't understand how this is lagging it out. But everything else I've done <coughs> has not done that. Whatever. Alright. So right now we are actually inside the alien facility. Um, the gun. Let me see if that was a quick, easy way to show you where I am. Because this is the moon pool. See, we are in the alien facility on the island with the gun. We're in the gun base. Hopefully I'm going the right way now. Is this the portal I just came through? We shall find out. But yeah, that's the gun that shot the sunbeam down. So that puts us actually above water, which is really cool. You can actually bring the prawn suit to this island with the sub and then go through the portal now to get down into this space. But there's really no reason to go into this space to collect this little bit of ion right here. Because in the next space we're going to, there'll be a portal just as easy to use. And that one's underneath the island with the gun. And it will take you to where we're going to be going next. So let's get back to the sub. Powers at 30% for our batteries. Yes, I do. Okay, so we come in here, go up left. Doubles. Doesn't matter which side you go, but you want to make sure you go straight across here. And let's hope we get back to the uh, submarine. This time we're going to go back to the right. Or left, I mean. Which technically means we're heading directly at the path of the sea dragon. So I'm actually going to go down as low as I possibly can. Because it's very possible we may be going right underneath him. There's the sub over there. So let's just stay as close to the ground. As close to the ground as I possibly can. I don't see him above me, so I'm just going to go for it. Let's get around this uh, here. I think we're safe. All right. Welcome up, Captain. All systems online. Okay, so we can make ion batteries now. And you know what we're going to do? Um, we're going to go ahead and make an ion battery right now because I believe I have an ion on me. F2. Two ion cubes. So what, what did it say we needed for the ion batteries? Let's go down and check it out. It says we need... This is the ion battery there. And we also have the ion power cell. Uh, the ion power cell, I believe, is what we need to make. So we need to make, we can make one ion power cell right now. Let's go ahead and do it. We need two gold, two silver, and a silicon rubber. Okay, so two gold. Two silver. And a silicon Let's get two silicon rubbers. Let's go ahead and make the ion batteries. These you can put into any of the stuff you'd normally put them into, like the, the flashlight and the stuff. That they last like 5% longer. I want to make that. Now here we can make one ion power cell. Power cell. The ion power cells um, are five times more powerful than the regular batteries. I don't know where I'm going. Let's go this way. Come up here. Now we will throw one of these ion batteries into the sub right now. 
hold this zero battery and throw the ion battery in there. And you'll see over here that one ion battery, I'm already at 2,000. So you can get this up to five or 6,000, I believe. But yep, that's how we roll. That's how we roll in. It's going up pretty quick now too. But there we go. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Just gonna throw that power cell in there for now. Okay, so that's gonna get us around. Now I can use that shield for days once we get that thing all the way up to six thousand. Um, next, let's go ahead and take the sub. It's at fifty-seven percent, but it's got a lot more power. And we're gonna go ahead and drive it back over. I'm gonna kick the shield on. Knocks all those guys right off, and then we are going to go ahead and start this bad boy up. Engine powering up. I'm going to kick on the other cam. So we are directly over this massive hole here. This is exactly where we want to go. So it's going to hold C and go straight down. Now I gotta remember which one I can go through here. Oh, it's that little one over there. And we're gonna aim up right there and go straight to this little hole. Looks like we're not gonna make this, but we totally are, don't worry. Gonna drop down a little bit. Turn this way a bit now. And we're back into the main room where we were. And we are gonna go right across this room again. I'm actually s save it again right here. We're basically going to go park in the exact same spot because we're going to want to take the prawn suit with us when we go in here. And we can't do it without the prawn suit. So we're going to hope that the sea dragon is on here and we're going to book it along the right wall. Pretty much just aim for the corner where we were parked before, which is right there. Just trying to get a little bit of uh, gain on him. He doesn't seem to be too close to us. We're going to go ahead and park the sub right over here. Exactly where it was parked before, right next to the uh, big alien facility here. And looking good. Let's bring it up, let's spin it around. Check my rear view here. Oh, I should be able to make that. Yeah. We're good. Okay, and then we are parked pretty much exactly where we were at the beginning of this episode. Looking good, and my battery is rising because I'm down here in the heat again. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go and kick this bad boy off. And I'm going to quickly go on back down here real fast. Um, nope, I don't actually wanna be down here at all. I'm going back up. <laughs> We want, I want to grab the batteries, that's what I was going to do. Let's pull these batteries out. It's at 100%, 100%, 100%, perfect. That one's charging. Those are both at zero, they're going to charge next. 
zero, 92. And that power cell, the ion power cell, is the only one that's actually uh, doing anything. That's the ion power cell right there. Wait, why does that one have 200 and 200? What? Wait, did the one ion battery power all of my batteries? That's just a regular battery. 100% 200 out of 200. 100% 200 out of 200. I am so confused. Did I not build an ion battery and put it into the sub here? Oh, 1,000. There we go. Okay, this is the ion battery. So the ion battery has a 1,000 charge and the regular batteries have 200. So the ion is five times more powerful. This means when you put all these in, you'll have 6,000 on the sub instead of uh, one. Or I guess two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Instead of 1,200, we're going with a lot more. A lot more battery power. So those are charging up. Just This is what I was going to do, is just to have extra batteries. Make sure this 62 and that zero. We're going to pull out this 100 and replace it with the zero. Pull out this hundred, replace it with the 62. Put those hundreds in here. 100, 100, 100. There you go, so all batteries are charged. This one's charging. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down here in the chair and save it. And we're right back where we started. And now for sure on the next episode, we'll be able to go into this final alien containment unit here and start the end game process of getting off this planet. Thanks for watching. And keep MMOing. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like what I do, please hit those follow, like, and subscribe buttons. It'll help me out tremendously. And also, for our Discord, the podcast, past streams, and all our other social media, you can always check out the website at www.mmoing.ga. Thanks again.